knowledge, as he quoted there, Einstein rejected all authority and the, everybody turned him to an authority. So, if what they say is true, what if your physical eye you are looking, let alone your knowledge influencing what you are looking at, the physical eye is already affecting what you are looking at. Hmm? So there is no way you can find out the reality of anything. So anything that you find through the help of thought is destructive. More so your religious thought. <laughs> sir, thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will not burn your temples, I will not burn your Vedas. You can have them all. You forget that Veda is, is born out of the acid head. They were drinking soma juice <laughs> and created this misery for us. What's that? I'm doing one. I burn my, you will burn me and I will take very soon. You burn the temples or the books, but you are doing the other way. That is important. It has to be burnt inside of you. <laughs> Don't say that you become a god. It's a filthy word. <laughs> you see, it's a very useful instrument for people to destroy. The harm your reincarnation has done. <laughs> the near-death experience of these people. That woman who came to see me, her books, uh, The Dream World or whatever it is, I sent you all about these people. The fellow who wrote the letter to you, his wife, million copies sold. Huh? And now, I sent you a copy of her letter to me after the, the feedback. Huh? Uh, yes. <laughs> she said she is dreaming about me and dreaming of making a documentary on me, but she cannot put my words together and create a script. So she is writing an article for the health. Scientist in Japanese. No, he is a philosopher. He, uh, he has taught practically in every university in the world. That is a near death experience. Near death experience. Uh, she was, she was, she was uh, heard him, but uh, she, she wrote a letter to you also. Yes, yes. Don't, don't touch him. Don't uh, destroy him. The dear, dear terrorizer, she called <laughs> Uh, my friend, she addresses me, not dear you, she dear terrorizer. <laughs> that fellow, uh, long letter he wrote comparing me to some, talking about, you remember, I also sent a photocopy of him. Long letter, thanking John for taking uh, yes. me to me. Yes. There was a time when there was no knowledge at all, world knowledge. Why are you asking, sir? Because you are caught up in the field of cause and effect. Be separated from nature. Your answer is there, which comes first, the egg or the chicken? So that was the clever, intelligent way of uh, not facing the situation and dropping that question. I am sure they will come up with some answer of one of these days that we see. This is not evolution. The human beings started on their own. ಅಂದರೋ <laughs> 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 When is there consciousness? Sir, don't ask the questions. When do you become conscious of anything inside of you or outside of you? Simple so you are talking about... No, don't you be... Individuals. No, individual is consciousness. consciousness. Is nature consciousness? You will know that all the talk about world consciousness, divine consciousness, cosmic consciousness is absurd nonsense. Doesn't exist? No. No. That is nothing exists. 
if you don't exist, as you said, you are repeating Vedantic. Uh, no, something must exist. Why do you say something must exist? If nothing exists, that means there should be. You are memory. See, that is memory. You don't understand that. Whatever you are repeating is memory. It's not even your words. You claim for the words which you don't want. That's the end. You can find out easily. There are no two things there. Somebody there who is only one thing. Huh? There is only one thing. That one thing you will never know. I will never know, I know. Nobody knows. But still there is one thing. Why do you say that? And these claimants don't know either. The jokers who are selling a shoddy piece of goods. You know that uh, fellow who he was, the first thing he asked me is 90 years old, he's dying of cancer. That Werner. Oh. Huh? So he still feels that he should uh, interview me, that we, we should talk. I have the cassette already last year, but half of it was destroyed by him. But the second half was more interesting than the first half. I sent you that. Uh, yeah, New York. Yes, New York. He still wants to see me and Julie wants uh, to videotape that conversation. And the first thing he asked me is, who will have the copyright here? 90-year-old man dying of cancer. <laughs> who will have the copyright? <laughs> I'm not joking. I said, you can have the copyright. That's what you wanted. That's what you want. I'll give you the copyright to you. <laughs> Jungian is a very big man. Yes, sir. Balancing Radha Swami. It is good. Uh, this is interesting, Chansaikar. I want her to put it. Robert Stevenson, it is there in one of the shops, uh, travel agency. Uh, I travel not to go anywhere, but to go. I travel for travel's sake. The great affair is to move. <laughs> that is the answer. I think I sent most of them. Yes. This also I sent. This videotape uh, will be worth an awful lot of money in due course. Yes. This also I sent. This is the fellow, ABC man, who helped me. After listening, there is no hope for me, no answer to my plight. Everywhere I turn, I see the blackness of the night. There are no stars or moon to point or show the way. Yes. There is only nothing I can do and simply nothing I can say. <laughs> yes. He is a huh? He is a nice uh, newsman. Uh -huh. His poems I sent you. Uh -huh. yeah. His poems are there. Baba. He is called Baba. Uh, this is the fellow MD. He's a Jungian analyst and founding member of the International Association of Analytical Psychology oh. and the New York Association for Analytical Psychology. He's also the founder of the CG Jungian Clinic in New York and a life fellow of the American Psychiatric Association. He is 90 years old in dying of cancer. And he wants record this video cassette interview with me, conversation with me. We did it on audio last time. So the doctors advised him not to sit in a chair and talk to me. <laughs> and the first thing he asked uh, Julie, who is going to have the copyright? <laughs> I said, you will have the copyright. I don't know. <laughs> and this is another fellow. Sir, all the psychiatrists who are against me is the international president of the Institute for Relationship Therapy. Uh, it's
it is, The Mind is a Myth is a very interesting and a provocative book that I have ever come across in my life. And let me know when UG comes to New York so that I can visit him and have a talk with him. He's a big, very big fellow. They, they can't even agree to what I'm saying. You see, then they are interested in what I'm saying. This is what I tell them. You have to find the answer uh, within that framework. But not go to, you see, these religious people, not go to Vedantins, not go to anything. There is a danger, you see, this they are going to, uh, journey of the spirit, they have planned 13 uh, interviews, portraits of the travelers along the way. Everybody in every field of life, spiritual leaders like Dalai Lama, Matthew Fox, who plans her? Some, uh, man who is preparing, Louis Hay, uh -huh. Swami Sachidananda, Sir William Kinestan, a mystic. And then thinkers, world travelers, storytellers, and non-guru tradition, Yuji Krishnamurti. Very disabled. He is an iconoclast in the true sense. After following all the traditional and prescribed practices to gain enlightenment for years, he came to the conclusion that there is nothing one can do through any spiritual practice to achieve enlightenment. There may not be any enlightenment at all. UG is responsible for two books, The Mystic of Enlightenment. UG likes to travel and when in US, when not reading the Time magazine and watching TV commercials, he likes to visit shopping malls. Yes, what you said is true, Chandrasekhar, this fellow. Uh, that uh, Gasper, what is that fellow you want? Uh, Michael Horner, Ken Walter, Kevin Ryerson, Fridge, Fridge of Capra. Yes, Yes, he is also there. A physicist is the author of the best selling, the physics and other words. Capra focuses on the parallels between recent discoveries in particle physics and tenets of Taoism, Buddhism and Hinduism. That's the worst thing that can happen to mankind is to find answers in Hinduism and Vedanta. It has nothing to do with it. Single particle does not exist at all. They are not going to find them. What? Yes, Narad Murthy also says that. Someone this you gave it to him? Huh? Yeah. Narad Murthy uh, They celebrated Sankara's birthday in the United States. There is one Indian philosopher there. He wants some activity, invite philosophers from all over the world. And this time it was uh, uh, on Shankara, last time it was on board. I don't know. That article is something. Uh, huh? He read that paper based upon the teachings of UG Krishnamurti. Non-duality. Non-duality. Where is that? You have it here? And everybody was uh, shocked. And who, who is this? Well, why is he talking about UG? His personal life also influenced him. So they have to talk. Uh, There is one fellow who runs a church and he has 600 people. The upside down, Larry Morris is his name. Every day, huge is love. We aren't ready, we don't want it, can't stand it. A steady pressure of choice, peace and goodwill. He is offering us ice pack, but we want ice pack, but not fire. <laughs> Yeah, the viability of non-duality. The viability of non-duality, Professor, not Department of Philosophy. For some of the remarks in this paper, I am indebted to the teachings of UG Krishnamurti. Some others are based upon my observations of the way he lives. Of course, in no case should what I say here be attributed to him. That's <laughs> yes, he's very no, that is a it's a topic. Huh? It's a copy. Oh, so you can write it. Are you saying that you are interpreting Vedanta better? Interpreting? Not teaching Vedanta. Uh, uh, Shankara, you, uh, you are throwing uh, better uh, light on Shankara. So what about that rabbi saying that I throw a little uh, <laughs> almond? <laughs> <laughs> and that the Bible yeah, is saying the same thing also. Yes. He's saying the same thing. In, uh, from your uh, uh, teachings, he used the, uh, the 
the Bible and all that in a different way now. That is the most horrible thing that he can do. UG is right, hold your hand. UG is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was false. <laughs> you can take it and read them. You are the one that will be interested. Where, where are we? What are we? <laughs> Have we left Bangalore? Can I say? It's still the same people, the same place, same talk. Time. Yeah, he yeah. writes that uh, when, he, when a light pa passes through the black hole, yes. the light stops. <laughs> Time stops. <laughs> so you know, is that is it? That is not like Chandrasekhar got the Nobel Prize, you know. Yes, it is. You know, the gravitational pull there. Uh, so the whole so Newtonian right. physics is passed to the ground. So because they see if you lift your hand, it is because of the gravitation. It is not just you are wanting to lift your hand. You act. You believe that you are doing it. You are not doing it. So something to that. If you G is wrong, if you G is right, you think is my point. Falling is the gravitation. We have got to do it U G now. The hand going up and coming down. The UJ stands for unknown gravity. I think. Crazy word. Some unknown gravity pulls. The body. The body knows that what UJ is saying is right. But your brain and mind tells that it is not right. Good. That's going. A little too far. What is it? Sir, you said that you had visions of this, sir. The Muhammad, Buddha, and Shankara. When did it happen, sir? That's 21 years ago. How did it happen? What made it appear there? Flushed out like the dirty lane. Shit. From your knowledge. It is a shit. Are you ready to accept that? No, but you are... No, come on. It's like the fecal matter. So it came out of your knowledge. Uh, all that knowledge, not mine, from what I read, from what I heard, from what people told me. So it came as a vision, sir? What? This um, Muhammad, Buddha and all that. No, you can not vision because you become that. No, you said something. See, what morning, you call you, morning, what you, you call you, sir, this is not a vision. You sit here, suddenly you see, you have breath. Actually, if you touch, probably you feel it also. Your male organs have changed into a woman, long hair, sitting there. And then moment you see the division occurs, it is only in a divisive state of quote-unquote consciousness. You can experience what you think is happening. There is a division already there. So since division cannot exist, it is wiped out. It is destroyed. Yeah, I don't know if you understand what. Without a division, you cannot experience anything there. The fact that you are experiencing that it is not UG that is sitting here, some beach that existed there in Kashmir or your Akumaha Devi here, or somebody else, you know, who thought that they were in a body, absence of body consciousness to prove wandering naked in the street. So next time it is Jesus, next time it is Buddha, next time it is some joker. I did not know who it was. This is very strange. I never uh, knew about this uh, in uh, uh, Greek mythology. There is a god. The body is the body of uh, sea, and the head is a human head. Mm -hmm. Like it's in Arasimha here. Yes. The head is the head of a uh, lion. The body is a human body. But in Greek mythology, the body is a sea, and the head is, is a human head. So suddenly I experienced, some, not experienced, found myself to be that. Uh, a seal with a human head. Then I started uh, wondering. Barry gave me the answer. Barry was very well read, you know. It was he who helped me. Because he was very familiar when I had these uh, eruptions here, big things there. Uh, he said he brought a book on Chinese mystics. Both women and uh, men have these horns. Even in Bible you have this, I suppose, Moses said, oh, so these uh, swellings here, they translated as horns in the human body. So he brought the books and showed me everything. It was he who helped me a lot. 
when I was going through all these strange things that happened. And so that, that is thrown out. Everything that you consider sacred, holy, is thrown out of your system. So that is, that is the reason why I use the phrase, uh, marching out of the saints. They are worthless, they are contamination. But you are not ready to accept that fact. They are flushed out of your system. Because that uh, earthquake uh, hit it, you see, or something. When earthquake is a very necessary phenomenon for this planet. Absolutely. So, but it is uh, destructive for us because we, our people are dying, we are losing properties, but it is readjusting itself, realigning the whole balance see, on this planet. It's a very necessary phenomenon. Otherwise, it wouldn't happen there. So, in exactly the same way, this earthquake throws everything out and then it readjusts itself, the body readjusts itself to its own natural rhythm in harmony with everything that is there around. So there is no more a separation from this body, from this you are sitting on, or from what you are looking at, from what you are listening. There is no difference. That does not mean that I do not know. I know, I do not know, in the same moment when I am looking at the picture. I, I know that I do not know. No, no, don't be cloudy. No, I know and I do not know are in the same frame, in the same moment. That is what they are talking about, the time. The chaos and order is in the same frame. You cannot interpret the universe as run on order. You can't say there is chaos. You don't know a thing. So you will not get a Nobel Prize. Like that, you see, the uh, Homer's Odyssey and Iliad, so many people read, wrote theses, theses that are plural, I don't know, saying that the author is not the same, the author is the same. They all got doctorate from Oxford, Cambridge. And through the help of a computer, they found out that the author is the same. <laughs> so now, you see, what do you do? With all these PhDs. So one of these days, they are going to find out. You see, about all your scriptures, whether Shakespeare wrote, uh, they are somebody else. It, it tells you the article, uh, uh, that woman who came to see me, Somebody fed the computer to find out, you see, Bob and uh, Paul, uh -huh. they say that, you see, I myself wrote the article, the non-existing woman came to see you. I said, yeah. I am not Krishnamurti, you know. Krishnamurti reviewed his own books in his uh, <laughs> full, myself and full others. So they feed it with the, the computer and find out the stylistic devices. This is not your style. That doesn't lie. So one of these days you will find out whether Sankara wrote somewhere in Lahari. No, that is even now, uh, they, they say that Sankara never wrote it. Because uh, it is very uncomfortable to accept the fact that he was the heart. <laughs> I went, I went one step further, <laughs> you don't like it. I said, Sankara is the author of Kama Sutra. <laughs> Vatsayana is the pen name. <laughs> Vatsayana pen name. <laughs> he was a sex-starved bastard. So perhaps when he entered the body, when, when we say Parakaya Pravesha, why do you make that comment? No, when he made Parakaya Pravesha, <laughs> then he experienced the... Uh, uh, that is why he is making the point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that you agree, no? He made Parakaya Pravesha. We believe that. And also we want to say it is not there. Yeah, because it is very uncomfortable for it in the philosophy you are preaching. <laughs> You so regard, regarding the vision, you saw... Same before. is the case with your work, uh, I mean, uh, Patanjali. Patanjali was just an editor who put all those things uh, floating around. He was not a yogi. The whole yoga system is wrong. See, in the end you practice the sevasa, but yoga starts with the sevasa. First you have to die, you become a corpse. And then the movements of the body. Not standing on your head, standing on your shoulders. It's, uh, uh, athletic, uh, no, no, yoga, yoga, as we know, helps the body. Whereas in your case, there is no body that man doesn't have. For us, we have the body. So, how yeah, are you sure? Patanjali is yoga. Who says that body. you have the body? We say it. We say that you can claim it. I can claim this house is mine. And you will have a lot of problems to put me out of this house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a squatter. 
coming to this vision, you saw Mohammed, he was a uh, most handsome of all the spiritual bastards. <laughs> he, I never had any homosexual tendencies in me. I would have even fallen. <laughs> I go to that day. Very handsome, sir. Very handsome. So, what about Buddha, sir? Buddha was the filthiest bastard. He's an English audience. He ate so much. He could write, you see, use his stomach as a death. Writing table. <laughs> was, um, um, Very fine. This is false. The Buddha you have was created by, in Gandhara culture, some Greek fellow created this for you. They had some Buddha. Chinese understanding is the, is the real one. real one. Yeah. With a big stomach and use yeah. it as a dust. That's it, is real. So that's <laughs> how about Jesus sir? You Jesus, Jesus is a real bastard. Real bastard. So how did how did he look? How did he look? He looked different. But this is still is the, the artist's idea. But, uh, that is how all the master's pictures you have in the Tisar process. Let Peter, through his uh, uh, clear wine, projected this on in the, you see, on the painters and they painted. But uh, where are they now? It came out that Blavatsky forged all these 3,000 3, letters written by masters. The computers said that. Even the handwriting experts could not say firmly on that subject in the court when there was a case about Krishnamurti. You know, 1913, there was a case, anybody can read them. Court records, it was there. Guardianship uh, case. So, well, they are, how the Blavatsky's this master's letters came into the... All forged masters never existed. In the course, no, that, 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 to that, prove that the uh, Ledbetter had no clairvoyance at all. Okay. I proved it in a different way. I used to sit right in front of him, sir. If he doesn't see anything in me, he's a phony. He never saw anything in me. Like the way... And how can a man who put J. Krishnamurti on the world scene and the world teacher say when he dissolved that organization, uh, we bet on a wrong horse. Uh, that you don't find in his biography. We bet on a wrong horse, he said. He never saw him afterwards. Let me so his clairvoyance didn't uh, help? It, it, the only way it can hold on a thin strip is that Krishnamurti has become a teacher in his own right on his own. That was what he wanted. He wanted to be free from the stigma of the world. He worked so hard. You haven't heard this uh, palmistry reading. That's very interesting. He uh -huh. compared my poem with that of J. Krishnamurti. Uh -huh. When I made a statement about my heart line, I have the heart line of the butcher. He said, Krishnamurti's heart line was worse. <laughs> <laughs> the reading is here, sir? Yes, it's there. We can't watch because there's no VCR. <laughs> Uh, no, you are better butcher. No, better butcher. Now he also made another statement. He was born with no potential, and so he achieved that through his hard work, through his effort, uh, through his will. And here, you were born with the potential. You wasted it all for 70 years. Now is the time that it is the potential is coming out. This is the promise. How is the potential? What way it is coming? I never used it. I wasted it on my spiritual sadhana. How many years? Uh, how many years? Forty-nine years. <laughs> Total waste. You are going to do this same thing as... But Krishnamurti also did a lot of sadhana that day. Everybody did it. You can't do it. That is why Vijayananda is uh, very good. Sensei. You have to walk through the dirty lane, there is no way. I want to give her something else. Then I said, you know, you are taking my money, why do you have to pick it up? You can take it. 
same thing that uh, I gave it to him and all the people around me said how can you do that they, are, they started beating him let him have the money what was your motive sir huh what we have to make a living or you want to change no like that uh, they miserable the jin or jin you know not at all not at all that is his living and you and i are responsible for that if we were prime minister for 60 lakhs of rupees or 60 million dollars there in a swiss bank why do you talk in that fellow you should lynch that bastard that you are going through the whole legal procedure no definitely answer it's a fact 